I got involved very simply by an ad in the local newspaper that said they were looking for volunteers to do uh, tax returns and it seemed like something I could probably do and once I got into it I've been doing it for 20 years. Well, the exciting thing to me about what I do is I bring together communities of people to care about the environment and encourage and inspire them to care about open space, land preservation, and working together to care for the planet that we live on and do it right here in our own backyard. About five years ago, I was approached to join the leadership team of the Fund for Women and Girls. The Fund for Women and Girls is a field of interest fund at the Princeton Area Community Foundation. And it is designed to help raise funds from our members and then make selective grants to not-for-profit organizations in our community that work with economically vulnerable women and girls. I am executive director of Arm in Arm. We are formerly the Crisis Ministry, and we're a nonprofit that serves Mercer County. We provide food, housing assistance, and job training support for low-income residents. It was finally recognized after 16 years that I wanted to be a voice that people didn't have. I wanted to help people be heard. And I wanted to help grow small businesses, women-owned -owned businesses. And I've strived every day to do that for the last 16 years and I plan on continuing that goal. I have the extraordinary honor of leading an organization called Junior Achievement whose mission is to inspire and prepare young people to succeed in the global economy. My activism in my community um, I work very closely with a lot of our kids in the community, um, with their parents. My husband formed a group first called uh, Committed Princetonians for our males so that they would have a safe place to go and talk and, and try to find leadership. I believe that the protection of nature is something that is inherent in the life that we have. Everything we do, protecting land for life, gives us food to eat, it gives us clean air to breathe, it gives us clean water that we can drink that maintains our bodies, it gives us places in nature that we can go to where we can enjoy being outdoors and be inspired by nature. My professional work has really informed a lot of the philanthropy that I've done, particularly my involvement with the Fund for Women and Girls. Understanding that there are women um, who are taken advantage of, girls who really need role models and mentoring and leadership opportunities, just created an, a natural segue for me uh, to the Fund for Women and Girls. I think the issues of hunger and homelessness in our community are something that I feel are, is really important for us to address. Uh, we have the resources that we need as a community to make sure everybody's basic needs are met, and I wanted to be a part of helping to make that happen. It's not just for me, it's really for my program. Um, we're, we're providing such a wonderful service, and yes, I am the coordinator for the county, but it's more than that. It's um, what we can do to help other people make life easier for them. Well, I think what's so wonderful about this award is that it's given by a group of people that I admire. Women in the community who have done tremendous things, who have contributed in so many ways, and so it's a wonderful honor for them to recognize me and the work that I do. Um, actually brought tears to my eyes. Um, it's nice to, uh, after 16 years, be recognized for something that you think goes unseen every day. It, it means a lot on, on, on a personal level. You know, when I was, when I was growing up, my, um, my sister and I, li we lived in Long Island, and uh, our mom uh, raised us by herself. And if we had had a YWCA in our community, I, I wonder if it would have helped to, um, if it would have made our lives a lot, a lot less challenging than it really was. Definitely not, because the paths that you take get you where you are. If I change anything, then this wouldn't be. I wouldn't do anything differently because the bumps and bruises along the way that 
I've either had to endure or the mishaps that I've had in my company have allowed me to educate myself, become a stronger person, be a better supporter, a stronger listener, so that I can help other people. I don't think I'd necessarily do anything differently because I feel like everything that happens helps to inform your next decisions and um, to help you learn how to make better decisions. So it's all just a part of a, of a process. My original mentor was the, the local coordinator, um, but really it's, it's become the whole program because we, we all feed off each other and get different ideas within the organization. I've felt tremendous support over the past seven years from my board um, of our organization. Um, there are our leaders in effect, but they're also people that I come to know and rely on for guidance and support. When we moved here to Princeton 25 years ago, my boss, who is still a very dear friend of mine, um, gave me the opportunity and encouraged me to sit on the first board I sat on down here. Um, it was Trinity Counseling Service. There's a real need for a woman-lay owned business to help grow other small businesses and help other women-lay owned businesses. So having an accounting background and being a social butterfly, I decided let me take all of my talents and put them to good use. Jay's mission is to help young people understand their role in the economy. And our job is to provide volunteer role models to inspire young people to dream big and to make those dreams a reality. Instinct is the only thing that I can tell you happened. Each um, generation is weaker yet wiser. And I grew over my um, life lessons to a place that can, that can pay it forward. Once I got trained and got to the site and met the people that I was going to help, it was really a wonderful feeling, and it still is, at the end of the day, to know that you've helped people uh, through something that they really didn't know how to handle or stressed them out or scared them to death. Um, and you go home and say, I really made a difference today. I think being out in nature is what inspired me. So often, those of us that are environmentalists, we started out when we were kids, maybe laying on the lawn looking up at the sky, or going to the local creek and, and ice skating when I was a kid, or taking hikes. So being out in nature was really the biggest thing that inspired me to do this work. My daughters inspire me. The kids, of course, inspire me. My husband and I, because we're a team, we work side by side. Um, but it's just the work. The, the inspire, inspiration comes from when I see the growth in the children that I work with. Seeing a young woman, a shy young woman, uh, build her self-esteem through one of our initiatives and seeing her speaking on a platform after an event and seeing her really come out of her shell, that to me is the most, the greatest inspiration anyone could wish for. She's being honored for really a life of hands-on and material support to the community and particularly to uh, needs that are identified by the organizations that uh, she has chosen to support for a long, long time. She wanted to identify problems, she wanted to work on solutions, and she wanted something done. She uh, is most thankful for the recognition in the context of what she had done for others and the fact that the why uh, would recognize that there are many accomplishments for women that go well beyond, you know, what I would call the, the traditional measures of, of success. <laughs>